It's about time. So we'll see if she chases our buddy out or what's going to happen here. Could get a little exciting. But yeah, when you buy new baby birds and you introduce them with big birds, uh, I'd say you got a 50-50 chance of a slaughter. Slaughter's going to happen. The big birds will eat up the babies. Uh, but sometimes, some people get lucky, but I would say you got a half and half chance. With me, I've had five, I've, at Easter I went and bought five chicks. Didn't really want five birds. I didn't want five babies. I only needed like two. I just wanted to have four. Just wanted to have four birds. And I introduced the babies to the big girls thinking, oh, maybe the big girls will want to be mamas. Uh, my girls said, hell no. Laying eggs is a pain in the ass, man. And having little live critters trying to get underneath you is more of a pain in the ass. So they were massacring those babies. They killed three of my little babies until finally I caught on what was going on. And I uh, had the babies inside the coop for about four, four months now, almost five. Today's a little early. I was planning on doing this at the end of the month. But now since one of my babies is starting to crow, we'll see what happens. Plus, I got some size on them now, so they're almost pullets. They're... They're almost teenagers. Pullets are teenagers. I'd say by next month, one of them will be pooping out an egg. One of the babies will be pooping out an egg. The other one will be humping it. Humping it because it sounds like it's a freaking rooster. But I could be wrong. My big girls, sometimes they get into a lesbian mood and start trying to be a, a dude, rooster or something. Like, hey, you guys aren't roosters, you're chickens. You need to start laying eggs. I'm starting to get mad. So, uh-oh. One of the big girls on the coop's kicking the scratch around. Trying to pick on one of the babies. We'll see what happens. She might get kicked out. She might get overwhelmed. girl inside the coop, the big girl inside the coop's going, Jerry's, you guys got tons of food in here. What the hell you been doing in here? If it was me, I would have had it all gone. Uh-oh, uh-oh. All right, all right, up. All right, what are you doing? You better cut that crap. There's a pecking order. The one inside the coop out by the door, she used to be the the one that used to get beat up all the time, I think. Nope, the one that's on the perch is my smaller big girl. But the pecking order has begun. So, the one inside the coop is the boss big girl she's gonna make sure everybody knows who's who see what the little gray bird's doing but yeah they don't like that that one inside the coop big girl in the coop doesn't like that silky a little white baby big bird and she's uh, she's a lot different than the big girl so I don't know don't know I guess they'll they'll survive but they're big enough I think the silky could give a good peck back she's getting big enough 
little gray bird might be uh, in trouble. Stayed a little small. So I'm thinking the little gray bird is the uh, rooster. Looks kind of cocky. Baby big bird, and she likes to hide in that little nesting box. But she's getting too big now. Uh, this is the hardest part about having new babies. Is introducing them to the coop birds. That gray bird's kind of freaking out. Going, where's my buddy out? Where's my, where's my big bird at? You better be a better girl this time or else we'll put you in the crock pot, you big pain in the ass bird. So what you have to do sometimes is if you can't if one chicken's just gonna boss everybody around and be a punk, you could just have that one for dinner and let everybody else live in peace. Well, but it's kind of normal. It's kind of normal, though. They do have a pecking order, and they let the other birds know who's boss. So, kind of like introducing a puppy to a new to your old dog. Oh, there's a deer. There's a baby deer over there. They gotta fight, and then after they fight, they become good buddies. It's like the gray bird is sitting inside the doorway waiting for Big Bird to show up. Yeah, that's so cute, baby. That Big Bird baby sure is a fat little thing. Kinda makes me laugh. Does look like. Big Bird from Sesame Street as a baby. He'll hide inside. Meanwhile, we got some fawn over there. I don't know where the big. <coughs> I don't know where mom's at. You behave in there. Don't be beating up babies. Don't be beating up babies or else I'll get the water hose on you. Well, I'll get the water hose on you. So where that fawn went. Right in the middle of the road. But he's in the Cul-de-sac roads are not too bad. But he's frozen. Hopefully he won't get run over. He's looking at me, going, hey, what do you think you're doing? <sighs> Some kind of lizard or something. Or squirrel. Ground squirrel digging in the dirt there. What? I'll be killing babies or else I'll have to put one in a crock pot. That's the bad part about having chickens. It takes 
least six months before you get your first egg. And the eggs are real small, so you're like, oh, this time and effort for a quail egg? Are you crazy? So after about a year or so, then you'll start getting your normal size eggs. But it depends on the breed of chicken too. So. I think the big girls will be happy now. The babies will be horrified for a day or two. Hopefully they'll live through it. Ah. Uh, But yeah, if I get a rooster, I don't like a rooster. Roosters, roosters are good to have if you need to have a rotation of your birds. But uh, roosters at the RV park wouldn't work out. They uh, don't just crow early in the morning. They crow all through the day. And people get a little pissed after a while. They're like, God damn it. Time to kill a rooster. So. So yeah. If I, if I do got a rooster in there. I'll probably have to send him to my mom's lake house. So there, there you go. Or set him free at the lake or something. Let him, let him populate the blackbirds. <laughs> well, there you go. Got a new rooster in the in the hood here. Uh, yeah, it's gonna take about an hour or so for the babies to decide to come outside and dig in the dirt and get all happy, piss off the big birds, and they'll get chased back inside the coop. Well, not too bad of a morning, baby deer, chicken fight, 